Hi guys, it's Amy here and I'm back with another video. This one is a animal drawing for a change. Um, and it's a bird. <laughs> and I said a little while ago in my um, telephone game challenge that I was put off feathers for a while. So yeah, this has just completely put me off feathers again as well. But this is of a tui bird, which is a native New Zealand bird. Um, for those that don't know, I live in New Zealand, so this picture is basically a tribute to where I live. Um, so just so for those that don't know, the Tui bird is, like I said, it's a native New Zealand bird, and at first glance it almost looks just like black with a white collar, but the feathers of the Tui bird are this beautiful iridescence, and so it picks up all these colours. And when it moves, the feathers change into shades of blues and purples and greens. And it's almost like an oil slick look to the feathers. They're beautiful birds. Um, they're almost, they're kind of like parrots too in that they can imitate sounds and stuff. So they're really beautiful birds. So I really wanted to draw one. I just didn't want to take all the feathers. <laughs> so this has been on the plan for a while. It just, you know to go out to build it up. And I decided to put the bird, the tui bird, into a natural setting of bush and these two flowers that are sort of synonymous with New Zealand and one of them is the kōwhai flower which is the yellow flower and kōwhai is actually the Māori term for the flowers and kōwhai actually means yellow in Māori so yeah so that's nice. The other flower that I wanted to do was a Pahutakawa flower and Pahutakawa flowers are basically they're like this mass of stamens. It <laughs> wasn't a good choice in terms of colouring but um, they're again really synonymous with New Zealand. We, they're actually called sometimes the New Zealand Christmas tree because the Pahutakawa tree only blooms around Christmas time and the tree is you know really dark green and the flowers are this big puffy mass of red and they're really pretty so yeah so very much a kiwiana themed <laughs> picture today but yeah I liked it it was good fun um so the paper I'm using is actually some hammer mule marker paper that I got um I can't remember the full name of it, I'll put it in the description. But I wanted to test out this paper because my local art shop started stocking it. <clears throat> and I also wanted to push myself to use my markers more because I'm still building out confidence. And I did initially think, oh, I could do this whole drawing in markers, but then when I began colouring in the toy, I realised I could not get paper details in with markers. So again, they went down as a base, but <clears throat> I was quite happy with how I did manage to colour in the the caught by flowers and markers so still practicing my goal eventually is just to do a full solid marker drawing or mostly marker drawing we'll get there <laughs> so as well as my pro markers and my flex markers I use my paper castell polygromos I also used a couple of colors of prismacolors and I used a bit of white gel pen my Sakura jelly roll one different technique I did do in this drawing as well was the background um, you would have seen already that section. So to achieve that background I coloured in just with one flat colour but then I was using alcohol to drip on top of the still damp colour and the alcohol sort of pushes the pigment in the marker around and that's how you get that spotted effect. And I was using a dripper but I also used a brush just to get some finer drops on there. And I didn't realise there was actually um, shimmery gold paint residue left on the brush from a previous project. Because um, I obviously didn't clean out my brush properly. <laughs> but it left like this really pretty gold sheen. It's a very sh like subtle one. It's not very strong but... It's the prettiest little sheen it's on it on the original and oh it's just it made it like it was a complete accident but it completely just oh did something to it so 
I was very, very happy with that accident. <laughs> So yeah, the main thing with curry, colouring in this too was just feathers, lots and lots and lots of feathers again. Um, and for those that have asked me before, feathers are just done in a similar process to hair for me. It's just lots and lots of little strokes and building up variations and where the lights and the darks hit to give it some texture. So I was thinking one day maybe I will do a feather tutorial. but. Not right now, I need a break from viewers. <laughs> so the tour took a while, but I was happy in the end with it. And the Core 5 flowers, they came together very easily. I was quite pleased with them, and I didn't think they would be too much of a challenge. I mean, they're a bit of an odd shape, but they're not, I don't think that would be hard to rep reproduce. Same with the branch and all that, I thought that would be easy. My main concern with this drawing was always the Pahutakawa flowers, which I left till the end. And if I could go back, I would actually fully colour in that background. I would not leave that white space that I have um, around the centre dots of the Pahutakawa flowers, because oh, that made such a problem later on. And you can still kind of tell in the original but for the most part I managed to hide it and I'm pretty happy with how they turned out for never having drawn a Pahuta cauliflower and you know considering they're just they're literally like balls of stamens they're really hard to draw actually <laughs> I was very pleased with how they turned out so yeah And for those that are interested, this of course will be a print. Um, I've got it available in my shop, my Etsy shop. So if you are interested in owning a print of the Tui Bird and the Pahutakawa flowers and Kōwhai flowers, I will put a link down below. And if you are interested in actually seeing, um, you know, photos and stuff of what they look like in real life, I'll actually put the names down below because I know it can be hard to spell these things out so yeah just search the description box and you can google and see real images of them if you like I mean they're pretty close I think I think I achieved it pretty well <laughs> so I think I'm gonna leave it here and just let the music play thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video Bye!